Africa is uniquely gifted when it comes to talent. In terms of sports, it has had some of the greatest household names that have shaken world sports history. In this video, we bring you the top 10 African sportsmen and women of all time. Soccer or you can call it football and then also track and field being the most followed sports on the African continent. The list that I'm about to present to you includes some of the biggest names that have ever played these two categories of sports. But if you're new here, my name is Gani and this is the African Meat Show where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So if you want to learn more about the African continent, and African culture in general, please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. And also at every end of my videos, I share a free Swahili lesson. This is simply because Swahili is the most spoken African language on the African continent. So be sure to look out for that at the end of this video. And for all of you, my African viewers, if you would like to start making $10,000 and more per month, we just released a very comprehensive course that will enable you achieve this, basically selling products on the Jumia platform. So for more about this, you can check out the description of this video or else you can check the top pinned comment on this very video. Ahmed Hassan is one of the greatest soccer players to ever play for the Egyptian national team. Hassan broke so many records on the international football scene. For instance, he is the world's most capped male footballer with 184 caps for the Egyptian national team. He has played eight different African Cup of Nations since his debut for the Pharaohs in 1995. He's also well remembered for that long range shot against South Africa in 1998 that gave Egypt their fourth African Cup of Nations title. Ahmed Hassan is currently a retired professional footballer aged 45 years. Maria Mutola is from Mozambique and is regarded as one of the greatest 800 meter female runner of all time due to her consistently good results in major championships plus her exceptional longevity that saw her compete at the highest level for two decades before retiring in 2008. First little smile, Maria Mutola of Mozambique. Best performance in the Olympics of bronze. Former world champion won the world title in 1991. On February 22nd in 1998, she set a women's 800 meter world record at the Levine Indoor Games in France with a record time of 1 hour 56 minutes and 36 seconds. Kelly Holmes takes bronze and I tell you what, she'd had a season of racing Brandon if only she'd had the fitness that we know that she could have I mean Maria Mutola is the current main coach to South African Casta Semenya who's one of the best 800 meter runners in the world of sports today Nwanko Kanu is a Nigerian former professional football player he was twice African footballer of the year and twice BBC footballer of the year Kanu got to be known so much in the European leagues for his unique style of play plus very remarkable football skills on the ball. He managed to represent the Nigerian Super Eagles at three World Cups and also he is remembered as part of the Nigerian team that won the 1996 Olympics gold. Kanu is currently a retired footballer aged 44 years and he also works as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Agustin JJ Okocha is one of the best flair players to ever come from the African continent. The Nigerian star was among the squad that led Nigeria to the African Cup of Nations victory in 1994. Plus also, if you remember, he was able to also lead Nigeria 
to Olympic gold in 1996. This guy was so good that his parents had to name him Jay twice. <laughs> Among his personal achievements and awards, he won twice the BBC African Footballer of the Year award. Kenenisa Bekele from Ethiopia is a 5,000 and 10,000 world champion on the track. He is one of the few people in the Olympics history that was able to defend both the 5,000 and 10,000 meter races at the Olympics. Bekele is definitely one of the greatest sportsmen of all time. For anyone that remembers the 1990 World Cup that was hosted in Italy, I'm sure the name Roger Miller still resounds in your ears. He's simply one of the few African players to ever make a vivid impact at the World Cup. Roger Miller also remains the oldest player in World Cup history to ever score a World Cup goal and he did this at the age of 42 years. Didier Drogba to date still remains Cote d'Ivoire's all-time goal scorer and highest achiever at the international stage. He had quite a long career during his playing time and he's believed to have been among Cote d'Ivoire's golden generation with the likes of Colo Toure and Yaya Toure plus so many other good players. Now can he score the winner? Only in because of the injury. Drogba managed to win the African Cup of Nations trophy for his nation Cote d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast in 2015 in which they won against Ghana on penalties. He's also remembered for his significant role he played in ensuring peace returns to his country Ivory Coast. He was part of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee that ensured the bloody 10-year war stopped in the West African nation. Et tout ira du mieux. On veut s'amuser. Arrêtez vos fusillades. Hail Gabriel Selassie is arguably Africa's biggest sports personality. He dominated long distance races for close to two decades, in which he smashed many of the world records. Because of his greatness, he was also featured in a Hollywood movie that documented his rise to fame towards the 1996 Olympics. And if you've never watched this movie, you should check it out. It's called Endurance. It's a great inspirational story. So it's one of those that I believe you should watch and get inspired. George Wei Opong was truly an exceptional player during his playing days. He is the only African player to ever win the Ballon d'Or. If you didn't know about the Ballon d'Or, this is like the biggest accolade or the biggest award in the world of football. The award was presented to him in 1995. That same year, he was also named European Football of the Year and also FIFA World Player of the Year. George Weah was voted European, African and World Player of the Year. Today, George Weah is the current president of Liberia since election into office in 2017. Samuel Eto'o from Cameroon is a four-time African Footballer of the Year. The Cameroonian star helped his nation win two African Cup of Nations trophies, Olympic gold, and also helped take his country to three different World Cup tournaments.
this great achiever was also top scorer in two African Cup of Nations tournaments including the 2006 and 2008 edition. Samuel Eto'o will forever be remembered in African sports history. For our Swahili lesson for today, we shall be looking at the days of the week. So, in Swahili, for you to say Monday it is Jumatatu, then Tuesday is Jumane, Wednesday is Jumatano, Thursday is Alhamis, Friday is Juma, and then Saturday is Jumamosi, and finally Sunday is Jumapili. So that's our Swahili lesson for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also remember to please consider subscribing so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. Thank you so much for watching. Watch this next video on the card.